In a very different high-profile case, jury selection begins today. This would be for the criminal trial of John Edwards. The former presidential candidate is accused of breaking campaign finance laws to hide an extramarital affair. The trial is unprecedented, and Edwards and his lawyers say it's politically motivated. Anna Werner is at the courthouse in Greensboro, North Carolina. Anna, good morning. Good morning. You know, Charlie and Erica, experts say the reason this case is so unusual is it's the first time that the Department of Justice is prosecuting someone, a former presidential candidate to boot, over a cover-up involving his pregnant mistress and the money used to hide her existence from his wife and from the public. John Edwards' affair took him from a popular presidential hopeful Daddy! Daddy! to a man facing criminal charges, who, if convicted, could wind up in jail. So he's going into his trial fighting. After all these years, I finally get my day in court. Last June, a federal grand jury indicted the former Democratic senator for accepting nearly a million dollars, then using the money to hide his pregnant mistress, Riel Hunter, in lavish accommodations. The money came from two donors, neither of whom will testify at trial. Edwards' friend and former campaign finance manager, Fred Barron, now deceased, and reclusive 101-year-old billionaire, Rachel Bunny Mellon, who is too frail to travel. Attorney Jan Barron specializes in election law. Well, the case is unusual because it uh, is the first time the Department of Justice has prosecuted somebody on the allegation that uh, they raised and helped spend some money to uh, basically hide a mistress and a child. At issue, whether the money they supplied qualifies as campaign contributions, as the government alleges, or as Edwards contends, as personal gifts. The issue is whether the reason for that was uh, to prevent personal embarrassment uh, and perhaps uh, uh, keep this information away from uh, Mrs. Edwards, or whether this was all calculated basically to help him in his campaign. And Barron says prosecutors must prove Edwards knew using the money was improper under campaign finance laws, something Edwards adamantly denies. I did not break the law, and I never, ever thought I was breaking the law. Now, the government's key witness here is expected to be Edwards' former campaign aide, Andrew Young. He's also the man who initially claimed to be the father of Riel Hunter's baby, again, to protect his boss, John Edwards. Charlie and Erica, back to you. Anna, thank you very much.